and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, then welcome. I wanted to do a video for our first day home with baby girl. So that is what I figure I would start right now. I'm starting a little later than planned. We got up and baby girl wanted to still be sleeping. So while she slept, I ate my breakfast, which was actually a turkey and cheese hoagie that was left over from last night. I was just so excited to be able to eat deli meat again. So I was really looking forward to having that for breakfast as well. So I had that and when she woke up, I was able to feed her, change her, all of that good stuff. Evan showered during that time so that when he was done, I was able to hop in the shower and get ready and Emmy. I don't know if I've actually said her name on this channel yet. And so her name is Emmy. I still refer to her as baby girl, but her full name is Emmy Blake Romano. So Emmy kind of just got to hang out. She mostly slept and I was able to shower and get ready. And she's really been sleeping a lot because she didn't do much sleeping last night. I would say over a 12 hour period, we had 11 different breastfeeding sessions. So it was a long night. I'll probably need a nap at some point, but we kind of actually have somewhat of a busy day. My grandparents stopped by earlier and dropped off my dog. My dog Nellie was staying with them while we were in the hospital. So she is back with us now and we have to take Emmy to her doctor appointment. Hopefully everything goes well. She dropped 7% of her weight. I think 10% is the like area of concern or more than 10% or anything like that. So hopefully when she gets weighed today, it is either still at the 7% or less than that. Hopefully it's not more than that. But we have her appointment today and my parents are bringing back Alani. So Alani's going to meet her little sister today, which is just so exciting for all of us. But my goal is to take you guys along on this ride and hopefully I will be able to capture as much as I really want to. Getting a little time hanging out. So when we came home, our heat wasn't on and that is something we can actually turn on on our phone. We just completely forgot about it. So we had tried to put her in the like warmest, comfiest PJs we could. Obviously we also swaddled her, but she was plenty warm between this and being swaddled. But yes, our heat is officially on. What are we doing? Are we doing okay? Oh, are we doing okay? Yeah, I'm feeling better. Oh, and we're spitting up. Oh, man. Oh, man. All better. You're gonna meet your big sister, Ivani. <coughs> Are you looking for more food? Are you looking for more food? Yeah. Are you looking for more food, huh? After you ate all night? After you just ate? So I didn't pack these in my hospital bag, but I did include them in my blog post as well as my video for registry. So this is a nail file, I guess I would say. Um, and it works so much better because it's so hard to cut their teeny tiny fingernails. So being able to have like this electric file or battery operated file that will file them down, it's just so helpful. So if you don't have this and you do have a newborn or you're gonna be having a newborn, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And then I bought the refills because I use these ones on Alani. I don't really use them on her anymore because she's older now and she can handle the nail clippers and I can handle using the nail clippers with her. But I did buy more of these for Emmy for sanitation reasons. I got hers in the pink. So Alani had the blue and I got hers in the pink just so that I can tell the difference. And again, so that it just stays sanitary for them not to be using the same ones. So the different colors are different like filing strength or whatever you would call it. So for zero to three, I am gonna be using the orange one, but it's super, super simple because 
it just pops in to here and then I can turn it on very easily like this and it does have a light which is convenient as well so it makes it so much easier because you don't have to worry about clipping their little skin this honestly can go right on my skin doesn't hurt at all and if you know someone who is gonna have a little baby and this is not on their registry I suggest possibly getting this for them because it is a game changer we are at Emmy's first doctor appointment just waiting on the doctor but she is doing well so far we're on our way home now everything went great with the appointment everything's normal her weight is actually up so that's not a concern at all which is great obviously if I am worried at all I can make another appointment or anything like that but that was the same kind of with Alani. Her weight went back up as well. I'm not too concerned. My milk is coming in. So everything outside of that also was really good. Um, I don't think I'm going to need another appointment. If I do, then obviously I can make one. But I just scheduled the normal one month appointment because again, everything checked out great. So that is something that just makes me feel a lot better about all of this. My only concern was really her weight. So we are good there. We're gonna head home. My parents are gonna be bringing Alani over and then she will get to meet her baby sister, which is just really, really, really fun. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully she's excited. Um, obviously she doesn't fully grasp the concept, but I think she's going to just really love helping and being a big sister. Here she is, that's your little sister. Yeah, you have to be gentle. That was so nice and gentle. Sister. Yeah, your little sister. That's right. <laughs> She's sleeping, huh? She's sleeping. Closed eyes. Yes, she has her eyes closed. Closed eyes. Yes, she does have her eyes closed. You're right. She moved. She moved. She's moved. Yeah, she's moving. Hi, Hi. 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 While Alani was staying with my parents, we just added some things in her room. We added some new, you wanna say hi? <laughs> we added some new bookshelves and we put in her Christmas tree, which we haven't decorated yet because we want her to be able to do it. But we wanna show her what her room looks like. Oh yes, and you have new curtains. You like your Christmas tree, Alani? Like Christmas. You like it? Like it. Yeah, I haven't fully decorated all the Christmas stuff because I still have to get it from the basement. But we do you like to all your cool as books? We could. Don't crib. You want to go in your crib? Don't crib. <laughs> take pictures. Take you want to take pictures in your crib? Take pictures in your crib. All right. <laughs> You're so funny. 
<laughs> did you miss yeah. your crib? <laughs> yeah, I bet she did. <laughs> you missed it? <laughs> Such a ham. So I have a few more things that I need to add, but this is what we have going on in her room. I bought this light a while ago, but I didn't put it anywhere because I was worried she would touch it. Obviously you can put your finger right through there, but we thought it'd be just cute to put it here. It's not even plugged in right now. And so when we feel more comfortable with that, we'll be able to turn that on and off. We have her Christmas tree in here. We just have not decorated it because we want her to be able to be a part of that. This comes down, I have a Christmas sign that I haven't found yet. And then we actually had the rocking chair in here or the glider, I should say. And we moved that into the nursery. So we got her a new love sack. We had gotten a smaller size than this one and we just didn't think it was big enough because we like to sit with her and read books as well. So we ended up going with a larger size. I don't remember what this one's called, but I will link it. And then we added these bookshelves. I did all Thanksgiving books on this one, and then I did Christmas books on this one. And then once Thanksgiving's over, I'll just spread out the Christmas books to both of these. I have these little decorations that I got in the Target dollar spot. Behind that is a Christmas train book. Again, when I spread out the Christmas books, then that book will be more accessible to her. But for now, we liked it behind the little train station. And then I also got these from Target last year. So all of those were in the dollar spot last year. And then I think I got this little penguin stocking from Michael's. We have just white and red stockings that we use for Christmas, but I thought this was cute in her room. I got these trees. From the Target dollar spot, I just tied a red and white ribbon around them because they came with, I don't know if you can see, but they came with this burlap ribbon and it just didn't really do anything special for them. So those were from the Target dollar spot this year. I just jazzed them up a little bit. She has this little bear down here. This is another spot that she likes to read, but I purposefully got this pillow on clearance last year at Michael's. It says Noel, which is Alani's middle name. Things are pretty quiet right now. Um, if you see behind me, it looks a complete mess. I took out all of the Christmas stuff, but I haven't actually arranged it or put it exactly where I want anything to be. But I am just hanging out with baby girl. We got some really great time with our oldest, Alani, as well as my parents. My parents have specifically been quarantining so that they could have these moments that we had today. So it was really nice to see them. Alani wanted to have one last night with them and they wanted to have one last night with her. They will be heading back to Florida, so we won't see them for months, unfortunately. But she is having one last night with them and then she'll be back with us again tomorrow. But yeah, it's honestly just really quiet around here right now. I just nursed Emmy. Um, we only got through one side, so hopefully I can get her awake enough to do the other side. But she is definitely pretty milk drunk right now. Oh, I'm sorry. No pictures? All right. <laughs> you charged for that? Oh, there we go. There we go. We're definitely gonna take it easy because we know the night is going to be rough. So that's about it. If you liked this video and if you do wanna follow along as we continue this journey of transitioning to having two kids, two and under, um, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss any videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.